Now that's a blended family. Scientists have found concrete evidence of interbreeding between different species of early humans. In 2012, a bone fragment from a teenage girl who died some 90,000 years ago was recovered from the Denisova Cave in Siberia's Altai Mountains. Analysis of the genome reveals that the girl was a hybrid, her mother was a Neanderthal, while her father was Denisovan. Denisovans were a hominin group distinct from Neanderthals and modern humans. Only a few of their bone fragments have been found, so their appearance and behavior remain a mystery. Researchers did find that this particular Denisovan had some Neanderthal ancestry. While the mother was genetically closer to Neanderthals in Western Europe than to one who had lived in the cave earlier, Scientists knew from looking at the genetic patterns of ancient humans and Homo sapiens that the different groups mated with each other, but the findings marked the first time a first-generation offspring of these pairings has been found. Time for a history lesson. Pompeii victim wasn't crushed. New evidence has been unearthed in the case of history's unluckiest man. Archaeologists searching the site of a man believed to have been crushed by a stone block during the Mount Vesuvius eruption in 79 AD have found the rest of his remains. They found the other remains buried deeper below the man's lower body in a tunnel created several hundred years ago. They recovered his thorax, upper limb, and skull. Analysis of the remains revealed they belonged to a 30-year-old man with a limp. Archaeologists now believe the man's death was brought about by pyroclastic asphyxiation, resulting from the eruption. Researchers say more analysis needs to be performed on the bones in order to get a better picture of the man's final moments. Did man once share the world with giant unicorns? An ancient relative of the rhinoceros, described as a Siberian unicorn, may have walked the earth alongside humans. The giant horned bees were thought to have become extinct 350,000 years ago. But scientists now say the discovery of a fossilized skull shows Elasimotherum sibiriacum only died out 29,000 years ago. A study published in the American Journal of Applied Sciences claims the Siberian unicorn may have lived at the same time as humans. The discovery of a skull in Kazakhstan suggests the creatures died out 29,000 years ago, more than 300,000 years later than previously thought. Researchers found fragments of the giant skull in the Pavlovdar region of northeast Kazakhstan. Fossils suggest the Siberian unicorn stood two meters tall, four and a half meters long, and weighed four tons, making it bigger than today's rhinos. Scientists believe the Siberian unicorns were herbivores, and their habitat extended from western Russia to eastern Kazakhstan. One theory is that the south of western Siberia was a refuge for the beasts, which allowed them to survive much longer than similar creatures. Researchers are yet to discover any fossilized horns from the creatures. However, skull fragments show a bony lump that is thought to have supported a keratin horn like those of rhinos today. New studies suggest human limbs may have gotten their start from fish gills. In 1878, anatomist Carl Geigenbauer proposed a link between human limbs and fish gills that was widely dismissed. 138 years later, it turns out the guy was onto something. Scientists from the University of Cambridge have found a possible evolutionary link between our limbs and the gill arches of shark skates and rays. These cartilaginous fish have gill support structures called branchial rays, which fan out in the same way fingers do. In humans, a gene dubbed sonic hedgehog determines which fingers go where and keeps them growing to full size. The gene was named after the video game character by a researcher whose daughter was a fan of Sonic the Blue Hedgehog. The gene is also responsible for the formation of branchial rays in skate embryos, using the same underlying mechanism for growth. When inhibited early in development, the gene causes the branchial rays to grow on the wrong side. When inhibited later on, branchial rays grow on the correct side, but are fewer in number. Does this mean we evolved from fish then? Though the similarities are telling, there's still no fossil evidence to fully back up the theory. Maybe in another hundred years or so, Geigenbauer will finally get his due. Caveman or long-lost time traveler? Scientists have unearthed something that effectively flips the table on everything we thought we knew about human evolution. 
The partial upper jawbone found during a 2002 excavation inside the Mizlia cave in Israel took scientists 15 years to date. Their research, which included virtual reconstruction, places the jawbone as between 170,000 and 200,000 years old. The oldest human remains on record were found at Jebel Irhud in Morocco. These are 300,000 years old. Many archaeologists believe humans migrated out of Africa around 60,000 to 150,000 years ago. The jawbone findings suggest humans left Africa 200,000 years ago. The jawbone contains five similarities to human jawbones. These are the small parabolic dental arch, an area of the incisive foramen. The finding corresponds with where the upper jaw and jaw ridge connect with the maxilla area of the human skull, as well as the position of the nasal cavity floor. If accepted as human, the jawbone could push back the history of human evolution by at least 100,000 years. Those are some huge chompers. It's not quite the megalodon, but a jaw full of sharp serrated teeth provides rare evidence of a similarly ferocious megashark that once stalked the ancient waters down under. After an amateur fossil enthusiast discovered a set of sharp teeth sticking out on a boulder on Australia's Janjuk coast, further exploration revealed several more. The teeth belong to the great narrow jagged tooth shark, which grew to over 9 meters long, twice the size of a great white. The prehistoric predator lived approximately 25 million years ago and are believed to have preyed on small whales and penguins. Shark skeletons are mostly made of cartilage, which doesn't fossilize well. Only single teeth and bits of vertebra were usually found, so multiple sets from a single shark is a rare find. Apart from the mega shark, teeth from several six-gill sharks were also uncovered, leading the team to believe a school of the bottom-feeding six-gills may have feasted on the mega shark's carcass. The fossilized teeth collection is with Museums Victoria and will be on public display for six months. Ancient Mummification Workshop Discovered in Egypt Archaeologists have uncovered a trove of ancient treasures dating back more than 2,500 years at an excavation site at the Saqqara Necropolis in Egypt. Egypt's Ministry of State of Antiquities says a mummification workshop has been discovered. The embalming workshop contains labeled bowls and measuring cups, which held oils and substances used in the mummification process. Two basins believed to have been used to dry mummies and prepare the bandages used to wrap them were also found. A 30-meter burial shaft was also discovered near the workshop. Also found were five mummies with their sarcophagi, a mummy with a gilded silver mask with eyes containing calcite, obsidian, and black gemstone was found inside one of the sarcophagi. Shapti figurines, which were placed with the dead to accompany them into the afterlife, and alabaster vessels were also found. More excavations at the site are expected to take place this year. The findings will soon be displayed in a museum, with Egypt hoping the discoveries will attract more tourists to the country.